Okay, so, sorry about that. I think my battery died on my phone is what happened. Anyway, so while it was charging, I went ahead and got the master bedroom bed made. That's not the comforter that I'm going to keep on it, but until I get home, uh, that's a good thing for it. So anyway, I was looking from the master bedroom forward. Yeah, a little winded. That bed's hard to make. I'm telling you. Let me swing around here. When you make a bed in an RV, I don't know, somebody may know it and go, man, that girl's really not with it. But I'm learning. This is a learning process for me. Um, well, I started by putting, you know, the footbed corners on first, and then I moved up to the front and tried to put them on up there. Well, when I got to that corner... I thought I was going to have a heart attack. I could not get that on there to save my soul. So I ripped the front two off. No, I took the bottom ones off and put the front two on. And then I got this corner on. And then I came... Oh, that made you dizzy, huh? Then I came to this corner. And I had to lift the mattress up and stand, you know, under here. And hold the mattress way up here in the air. And crunch it over to get it on and then put it down. What a grunt. The things you learn, right? Anyway, so like I said, learning process. I'll get it. I'll get it. And I got <clears throat> this cupboard wiped out. And I think for now it sounds like a real good, real good idea. Ooh, my camera. Um, I'll use the top part for towels, blankets um sheets kind of stuff and then you know this of course you know closet area shoes i just threw my suitcases in there for now and then the drawers underneath i'll just use those for storage when you got size 10 feet those teeny tiny little drawers absolutely will not hold my shoes yeah i got big feet my uncle used to tell me i had a firm foundation and a good understanding well, and tell you when you got feet that big, you have to have a good understanding. Anywho, so I don't know how far I got on the last video, but yeah, I was showing you the cute little nine dollar silverwares that I picked up. I thought those would be good for the RV or what is this? Yeah, RV. Yeah, I'm still I'm still not sure what to call it. Um, I have a '73 VW Bug at home. That I'm going to get worked on and uh, get a trailer for it so I can pull it behind this beast. And the license plate on it is low bug because the spindles were cut when I bought it. So the bug is really low. And my name is Lori. First letters are L-O. And then bug. So low bug just sort of fit. And then my son made me an email years and years and years ago. And he made it low bug. So I'm going to stick with that for the, what is it, for the bug. 